Well, hello there, gang. Welcome to my video review of the Saucony ProGrid Kinvara 2. Uh, I don't know how long these have been on the market. I've had them for just a couple of weeks now, and already I can tell you I'm in love with these shoes. These are awesome. Uh, I've put on probably 45 miles already in the last couple of weeks. I took them on some short runs, uh, an actual 5K race, and I took them on a, a nice long 12 and a half mile run on various surfaces, asphalt, concrete, gravel, grass, dirt, even in the rain. It rained the other day in the middle of my run. So I've, I've tested it in, in most conditions that runners will face, and these held up really well on, on, all, on all counts. Um, You'll notice that I got these in a really bright color. I, I really dig the color of these. It was between this and they have a super bright orange one as well. But uh, I opted for the yellow and green with the silver accents. Kind of a Brazilian style color shoe. And it's definitely unique. I don't see anybody else on the, on the trails with these shoes. So I, uh, I stand out when I'm out there. But they, these are available, I saw, in more traditional colors. For those of you who are afraid of of being a little bold and different. So what do I like? What do I dislike about the shoes? What are the, the features and benefits and all that jazz? Uh, well, first of all, they're a, they're a minimalist style shoe, which means that it has a really thin sole that you're going to be close to the ground. I, uh, I measured the heel. The heel sits about uh, like 28 or 29, 28 millimeters off the ground, it looks like, so you're really close to the ground. And at the ball of the foot, it's about 20, 24 millimeters or so, so about a four millimeter drop between the, the heel and ball, which is great for a minimalist shoe. It's going to make, make for a great transition if you are normally a heel striker. It'll, it'll kind of force you to become more of a midfoot striker, which is a far more efficient way of running, and it's going to make you far less prone to injury. It's going to spare your knees and lower back from agony of heel striking. So, on the, in those regards, this is a great shoe. Um, like I said, the, the, the sole is really thin, but it's also, for a minimalist shoe, it's really supportive. I noticed I didn't really feel the ground as much in these as, a, as I did in my previous shoe, which were the, the Nike Free Run Plus 2. I really felt the ground in these, but uh, in these, it's a, it's a little bit more stiff of a ride, which which is good and bad. It's, it's not quite as flexible as as I would have liked, especially coming from the Free Run Plus, which has a, such a ridiculously flexible toe, which I I thought was awesome. So in that regard, it's I wish it was a little more flexible. But like I said, it offers a little more support than a lot of the minimalist shoes out there. So it'll it'll spare your feet from feeling every pebble and every crack in the ground. So this is what the tread looks like. It has uh, these raised triangular nodules that you can see that are offer some great cushioning and support and, and traction. Just give you an idea of what it looks like from both sides. How it sits. Um, these these shoes are incredibly lightweight as well. I I don't have the specs, I don't have a scale. I would guess these are probably under eight ounces, which would make them a full ounce, at least a full ounce lighter than the Free Run Plus 2, which these are already light. These are even lighter. I, I was stunned. But it's great because it it uh, it allows for really quick foot turnover, so you can actually speed up. You can You can become more efficient speedy runner with such light feet. And uh, one of the main reasons they were able to keep it so light is this super thin mesh outer material. It's, it's, here I'll show you from the inside. You can see all the light that passes through there. That just shows you how sheer that outer membrane is. So it keeps the shoe really light. It also keeps your foot really cool because it's so thin. When I took these on the, my, my long jog, my my 12 and a half mile jog the other day. It was a little bit hot out, and my feet normally overheat anyway. They were they were in, they were kept very very cool in these shoes, so I was pleasantly surprised there. Um, they have great arch support inside if that's something you need. If not, you can always 
remove the insole and replace it with whatever else you need. So I don't know if that's good or bad for those who have flat feet. Um, I have I have no idea, but uh, I have a neutral foot, and these these feel very comfortable. There is some ankle support. They've got a little extra padding on the inside of the ankle, and it actually says hydrator. Hydrator. No idea what that is. I don't know if that's an actual function or if that's just some sort of marketing gimmick or what. I haven't noticed any benefit from that. I don't know what that is. So that'll just remain a mystery, I guess. Um, the tongue and the, the inner material are very soft. They're, they were very comfortable over, the, over the, the sides and the top of the foot. I do wish they had gone with, a, with the off-centered lacing system. They went with a more traditional lacing system, which comes right across the top of the foot and can get kind of uncomfortable if you're going for long distances versus, and I'm comparing that to my last shoe, the Free Run Plus, which has, it's an off-centered lacing system. So it, it doesn't come directly across the top of the foot, which is uh, really much more comfortable. Um, and also the, the toe box is a little bit narrow, making them a little bit snug. So I ordered these a half size up and I would suggest, you know, for most of you out there, just based on my experience, you, you probably want to order a half size up as well, just to allow your foot, for, for, if for nothing else, to allow your toes to have enough room to display as they hit the ground so you'll absorb the shock better of running. Um, overall, you know what, I would rate these uh, a four, maybe four and a half star out of five. I think they're, with a little bit more work, maybe the Kinvara 3, they'll have a little bit more flexibility. Maybe they'll, they'll do the, the staggered lacing system. Um, but for now, I'm in love with these shoes. I think they're great. They're a great minimalist shoe, a great transition shoe. They'll make you a more efficient runner. They're super lightweight. They'll keep your feet cool. And in this color scheme, they're ultra flashy. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope it's been beneficial for you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those. I'll try to get to those as soon as I can. And uh, I appreciate you watching.